Hey folks, welcome to Salsa Saturday. This is April the 12th, 2014, and I'm going to try making the, the Suckle Busters uh, quick and easy fresh salsa mixings. This is their hot variety. Now this is a dry salsa mix, and it, the ingredients are onions, peppers, cilantro, garlic, lime powder, salt, and spices. Contains no MSG. Now the directions call for one packet of salsa fixings, one can of diced tomatoes, but I don't like a chunky salsa, so I'm going to go with this these crushed tomatoes, and that's a 15 ounce can, and then one quarter cup of water. So I'm going to show how to make this and show how easy it is. I'm out here on my patio, and I'm going to make this and. Refrigerate it for probably an hour, let all those flavor, flavors mingle and come together, and then uh, I'll do the review and see how it tastes. So stay tuned. Let's make some salsa. I just want to smell this. Mm, it smells really good. Well, here I have a 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And then packet of the Suckle Busters fresh salsa fixings and a quarter cup of water. Let me get my spoon here. Give this a mix. Oh, it looks really good. And yes, it's really windy out here today. Okay, it looks like that's combined really well. So I'm just going to refrigerate this for about an hour and then we'll give it a review. I can see a lot of, uh, a lot of cilantro in there. It looks really interesting. Okay, I can't wait to try this, so stay tuned. Salsa's been in the refrigerator for about an hour, a little over an hour. So let's give it a taste. Looks really good. Definitely perfect texture that I like. You really see a lot of the ingredients really bloom there. It's a lot of onion, garlic, cilantro. Good. Let's give this a taste. Good flavor. You really taste the garlic and the onion. Taste the the lime, the lime powder. Maybe a little bit of the cilantro, but really can't really taste a lot of the cilantro. Maybe maybe a little bit longer in the refrigerator will allow those flavors to come out. But overall, it tastes really good. Really nice heat level. Uh, this is their hot variety, by the way, and it's got a really nice afterburn. So this is—I I would definitely rank this as a hot. Overall, I give it a thumbs up. This is this is really good. Um, and uh, so that that concludes the review of the the salsa. So they sent me three packets of this. They sent me a mild, a medium, and a hot. And this one's the hot. So, leave a comment and I'll uh, randomly draw two people from those comments and I'll send you the mild or the medium. Uh, it's just going to be whichever name I pick, that's who's going to get what. So, leave a comment and uh, possibly pick up some salsa, some salsa mix. There you have it, YouTubers.